everybody welcome to another video my name is onyx welcome to my channel um today we're gonna be doing a really weird video uh it's gonna technically be an unboxing um but probably one of the weirdest unboxings there is on youtube so basically i was at a yard sale with my family and i was like let me know if you see any bones because i want some don't ask why i just do um and my grandmother goes oh i have a box of bones in my basement you want those and i was like yeah. So now I have this box of bones. As you can see, it's open. So I've kind of like glanced at what's in it like on the top, but I don't actually know what the rest of it is. So I'm just going to be going through this and showing you what is in here. And yeah, bone unboxing. Item number one on top. This is a snake skin. Uh, I don't really have any use for this and I'm not really a fan of snake skin, but there you go that's item number one item number two this is a bone for sure probably like one of the extremities but i don't know which one and it's broken so undetermined bone <laughs> this definitely is a rib like i'm pretty sure this is a rib i don't know of what at all but can you hear my dog breathing in the background of this video? The answer was yes, you could absolutely hear my dog breathing in the background, so I moved him farther away. Next we have another rib. So, two ribs in here. I'm not sure if they're from the same thing or what, but they look like they could easily be from the same thing, being that they're like almost the exact same size. But I, again, I don't know where any of this came from. I have no information at all. This is just a box of bones in my grandmother's basement. Um, next. Ooh, this is, <gasps> I'm excited. <laughs> it's a, it's a geode, it probably quartz. Is it focusing? It's kind of focusing. It's like not really showing up because there's not a lot of light, but like it's shiny. It's, ooh, yeah, there we go. It's sparkly. Sick. Oh, my nails are dirty. I was just at the lake. Don't worry about it, okay? I was catching tadpoles. And there's another one! There's another geode in here. Love that. So I got some crystals along with my box of bones. Love that. There's also just some huge rocks in here, like... Here's just a big red rock. I don't know what it is. I have no context. There's a spider crawling on it. It's just a big rock, okay? Oh! Hello, baby. The next thing in this box is a stick. <laughs> but to be fair, it is a super cool stick. It's got all these like nubbins. I love that. And it's like a beautiful shape and it's so smooth. I think this like, I really love this actually. It's not a bone. It's not what I was looking for at all, but I think this is great. I don't know of what it is, but clearly it is a jaw. It's kind of like, broken on this side and it's missing a tooth um and yeah it's definitely a herbivore because there's no sharp teeth it's only grindy teeth um maybe a deer or a cow or something but here's another bone in the box of bones so this is on topic another big rock this one's white i don't i don't really understand why but here's a big rock um another rock just some rocks i couldn't tell you why. Okay, here is a cool rock. It's a lava rock, so it's got all that like good like porousness to it. But again, it's just another rock in the box of bones, so let's just get this out of the way. It's another rock. Don't know what it's for, don't know what it is, it's a rock. Oh my god, another rock. And Oh, never mind. This one's cool. It's another geode. It's like the next thing of the geode. It's got these veins on this side, like this one. That's cool. I had to switch the way I was filming this because it didn't want to focus on them at all. But there's like this cool, like corally stuff. There's a different piece of corally stuff. That's nice. It's actually really pretty, but like I don't really have that much use for it besides the fact that it's really pretty. Also, there's Nox. There's Waz. They're both chilling. We're just having a happy. Happy afternoon. Um, here we have a really worn down piece of desert rose. Um, it's actually made of selenite and it like is dusting on my fingers and all of that because it's like basically made of sand and falls apart super easily. But that's cool. So that's another crystal, which is great. There's a piece of tile, just like 
pretty blue tile. Again, I don't know where this came from. I don't know what this is about, but that's also in here. Another piece of tile, again, pretty in blue, but not like the same, I don't think. I think they're all kind of different. Um, but it's pretty, I like it. And another piece of tile, this one's got a checkerboard on it. These are all like super cool. I have no idea what they're from or like what they're for though. And another piece of tile, each one of these has a different pattern on it. It's super cool. Um, I'll show you all of the stuff that I've taken out like all together at some point. Cute, tiny piece of coral. Uh, kind of looks like an arrow. Definitely does look exactly like an arrow. This is definitely a bone, but it's like a super long, weird, tiny bone, and it's like really yellow for some reason, and has these um, kind of like interesting lumps on it. I have no idea what this is from. I have no idea what this is. But there you go, another bone. Little itty bitty bone! I might make this into like some jewelry or like wrap some wire around it, because I think this one's super cool and I think it would make a good necklace, but <laughs> it's really cute and little and I really like it. Maybe it's like a phalange. I'm not sure this counts as a bone or what, but here's a, a shell. It looks like just a snail shell. It's like in great shape and it's like really thick and nothing's broken on it at all. So that's really cool. I like that one. Just a oyster shell. You see these all over the place, not too exciting. Clam shell, really super beautiful, shiny, shiny, shiny clam shell. Um, and it's got like this like pink inside. It needs to be washed off a little bit, but like, what can you expect? They were definitely sitting in my grandmother's basement for like 20 years, who knows? Another shell. This one, again, really smooth, really soft. This one doesn't, maybe a hermit crab? Because it doesn't look like a snail, but maybe it's a snail. I don't know, but I like it. It's pretty, it feels really nice. Like, I'm not sure if you can see the texture on it, but like, it feels so good. Another shell, kind of an ugly shell. I'm not like super fan, but those three little holes are super cool. And like, it's got these little green bumps on it. Never mind, maybe I am a fan. This is pretty cool. And yeah, that's the backside. This is super cool. So this isn't actually a shell. It's um like a fossil, like an ammonite fossil. Um, and clearly it was a bead. Like someone bought this at like a at a store or something, um, or like a stand. And that's super cool, but it's like a tiny snail shell fossil. Super cool. Another bone, this one's bigger. <laughs> Again, one of the extremities, I don't know where it came from. Um, that's super cool. Does anyone know what this is? Let me, let me know, but yeah, a bone. A few of these in here, I don't remember what, like it's a seed from a tree. Uh, I think it's native to here. There's a couple of those. I'm not gonna show any more though. We also have a little crab claw that's like kind of broken and it's definitely broken on that side and it's completely hollow. Um, ooh, it moves a little bit. Okay, I, I'm definitely gonna break this if I keep playing with it, but yeah, there's a little crab arm. Um, here's another crab arm. Again, this like, it's really pretty. Like the texture of it is like really interesting to look at up close. Um, and a third crab arm. I don't know why there's so many crab arms in here, but there's a lot of them. Fixly round stone. Um, it's pretty. It's like really, really smooth actually. It's like very satisfying and it's like almost like egg shaped. Like I can see why whoever put this box together would put this in here, but like, I really love it. I might actually keep this in my crystal collection because this is a really nice rock. Good stretch, good stretch. Okay, here we have what looks like a piece of spine or maybe it's a hip bone, I'm not really sure, but it's definitely like one of the central column type guys. Um, super cool, no idea what it comes from, but I think that's really, really rad. And last but not least, the final thing in here is a vertebra, um, or a vertebrae, I think it's vertebra. Um, I have no, again, no idea what it comes from, no idea, like, what animal it was or where it came from, but I really like the shape of this one, and it's, like, kind of a good size, actually. Like, it's pretty big. 
super stoked about that and I'm really satisfied with how many bones came out of this random box. Um, so that's super cool. Didn't see this because it was like at the very bottom and it's so tiny, but look at this adorable tiny shark tooth and my cat. She's like, I want to look at the adorable tiny shark tooth, but yeah, look how cute that is. I love this one and also like this would be super cool on like an earring or something. It's like very black and very shiny. I actually don't know if it comes from a shark, but like it kind of looks like a shark too, so that's what I'm calling it. So let's do a real quick uh, box of bones haul. We've got our miscellaneous large rocks. Uh, moving over to the cool lava rock, then on to the geode fragments, then on to some coral bits, and then the other crystal desert rose, and then the little round rock that I like so much. Moving down to the animal parts, um, we've got some snake skin, we've got a jaw of some type, two ribs, a cat. Go. Go on. Move along. Um, two ribs, some extremity bones, this weird, really thin yellow one, some vertebrae, this tiny, tiny one, then here we have the shells and the crab feet, the crab limbs, some corals, some like snail shells, uh, the tiny uh, shark tooth, the fossil bead, these seeds, the blue tiles, and honestly my favorite thing in this entire box was just the stick. Like, look at that. Tell me that that is not a great stick. It's so cool. Okay, yeah, I'm just going on and on about this stick. I love this stick so much. Anyway, uh, that was this weird box of bones unboxing. Uh, if you liked it, like it. If you have some knowledge that I don't have, are like really good at biology and can tell me what the fuck I'm supposed to be talking about, put that in the comments. Um, and if you like weird ass videos that don't seem to have any kind of point or reason to them, then subscribe, because that's what you get here. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye. <laughs>